So namaste. Good afternoon and welcome to Mindfulness Moments. So happy you could be here on this beautiful day here in New York is where I'm coming from this, this day. I'm glad to be here with you all. Welcome, welcome. If you're joining us today, if you're coming and practicing with us live or you're joining it in another time, um, just coming to a, a space, a place, taking a moment in your life to, to truly check in, right? Um, sometimes uh, for all of us, how well do we see the world, right? Sometimes we get very uh, busy and our minds and our bodies get all kind of clouded and uh, filled with all kinds of interesting information. And this practice is a place and a time where we can kind of take a moment just to pause, to pause, to let things go. And let's just see what happens as you prepare. So sit yourself up in a seat if you'd like to join me on the ground. Absolutely. I have a pad, a little bit of padding underneath my hips. Uh, if you'd like to be in a chair, if you're working at your desk or a uh, chair is a better place for you to find a seat, absolutely positively. So coming here now, Start with foundation. So you can take your hands underneath your hips and just spread wide, right? Spread wide so that you can start to open up the base, the hips, and then you can start to circle yourself around. I have my hands still resting on my hips as I'm doing this. Again, just to very clearly uh, create foundation, right? You feel one hip as you go to one side, you feel the other hip. Start to deepen your breath now, flowing and opening into this moment. And then come here to an upright position. Go ahead and float your arms all the way up to the sky so you get really tall and spacious. Turn your palms towards one another. Let your arm bones soften down and just stay here for a moment. Let your gaze get very soft. You can start to turn inward now. Again, we're practicing mindfulness. So this is a place that you can kind of uh, let go of what came before, let go of what's going to happen next and just come to this moment. Okay, deep breathing. Go ahead. Let your left hand drop down onto the ground or grab this chair and take the right arm way up and over. So you're stretching, opening up into the side body, <clears throat> turning your gaze down towards the ground. Relax the head, relax the neck, relax your jaw. Let your jaw get very soft. Go ahead, use your core and bring the arms right back up and then stay here for a moment again, feeling your breath, feel foundation, feel your body. Feel the stretch of your arm. So you move in two different directions. You're rooted down very clearly, but the breath, right, in this moment is taking your energy upward. Go ahead and drop the right hand or grab your chair and take the left arm way up and over. Enjoy the stretch here. Look down for a moment. Gaze is soft, mouth and jaw relaxed. In through your nose and right back out through your nose. Go ahead and come back up to the center. Again, reach your arms nice and tall. Check back in with your foundation. We're gonna take the arms and cactus the arms alongside the body. Your palms can be facing up and forward. Your palms are facing forward. And tie an imaginary string to your second finger so that you can easily hold your arms up here. You might even tilt your elbows forward, let your hands drop back. We're gonna do a little breath practice here. So this is the uh, positioning of your arms and the breath practice is going to be an exhale, just a sharp exhale through your nose. So it's a little puffing out, right? Just an exhalation. And then we're gonna twist a little bit as we do that. So just starting to twist as we begin this breath practice. So come back to the center. Again, tie that imaginary string. Your body is nice and strong. You're moving from foundation, breath lifting you up. Take a deep breath in, empty it out through your mouth, clear it out. This breath is called Kapalabhata. Take another breath in, empty, empty it out. One more breath, inhale and empty, empty, empty. Now seal your lips, just start exhaling through your nose, short exhales and start to twist.
start to slow it down a bit. Slow it down, the arms soften, the breath starts to slow. Exhale, exhale. Stay still with the arms. The next exhalation, drop your chin and hold your breath for a moment. So you're retaining your breath. Take your time here. When you need to breathe in, float, fill the body up. Inhale through your nose, reach your arms all the way up. Lift, 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 and then retain the breath at the top just for a moment. And when you need to release, we'll twist. Go to the left. So taking your right hand to your left thigh and turn and twist and deep breathing in. Now all through your nose and exhale it out through your nose. Inhaling, filling up and exhaling. Go ahead and come back to the center. Reach your arms up, 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 nice and tall. Exhale, turn and twist to the other side. Breath now traveling in through your nose and right back out through your nose. Inhaling and exhaling. Go ahead, come back to the center, come back to the center. You can start to swirl into your wrist, opening up into your arms, right? Turning your palms one direction and then the other direction, just opening yourself up, shrug your shoulders, starting to open, move your body. We're gonna transition now, we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. So we use the, the practice, right? We use breath practice to kind of clear out that beautiful mind, right? How well do you see the world? Do we actually see things clearly here? So go ahead, hands and knees. I have some padding underneath my knees here, a little blanket. Feel free to have a yoga mat or whatever it is you need there to be comfortable. And now we'll start to flow using the breath. Inhale, you look forward. And then as you exhale, round, round, round into the spine, relax the head and the neck. So just flow like this, inhale forward. Exhale, release, 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 let it go. And keep moving like this, inhaling and exhaling. So now we're adding on. It's not just a practice of breath, because it never is actually. It's the practice of the whole. But now we're focusing more on the body, right? So you can start to get creative here, moving and breathing. Maybe you want to swivel into your hips. Do what feels good and comfortable. So really tune into the body on this day. What is happening for you? These postures are a great opportunity to move, to open things up, to warm the joints. Right, to check in, to check in. Go ahead and widen your knees. Now, if you're not on the ground here, you could have been doing that standing, but if you are standing still and you don't come to the ground, just take a forward bend. If you're on the ground here, let's come into a child's pose, pulling your hips back towards your heels. And you can stack your hands one on top of the other and just take a moment here to, to find your breath. Find your body. Breath is deep and full through your nose and right back out through your nose. You might massage the forehead here just by turning your head to one side, turning the head back to the center and to the second side. Just softening, opening, relaxing the muscles of the face, the forehead, the eyebrows get soft. The nose, see if you can soften the, the face, the muscles there in your cheeks and the muscles right there at your chin. Deep breathing. Mm. Go ahead now, if you're standing, you're gonna slowly come up to an upright position. If you're on the ground, start to walk your hands way, way, way forward. So a big stretch here, opening up, pulling the hands in one direction. Go ahead, come up onto your knees. Here you can tuck your toes and lift your hips and a downward facing dog is a wonderful posture to practice mindfulness in. So you can pedal at your feet, go slow, feel your body. We're eventually gonna come and meet all in a standing forward bend. So if you were standing tall, come back into the forward bend, let your head hang heavy and just sway the arms. Let the arms be nice and soft and relaxed, go side to side deep and mindful breathing. 
press down into the ground and slowly, gently roll yourself all the way up, coming up one vertebra at a time. As you come to the top, start to shrug your shoulders. They go up and back and down and away, up and back, down. Feel the breath flowing through your body. <clears throat> Standing tall now into Dasana again, back to uh, consideration of foundation. Now the foundation is the feet you know, very clearly rooted down into the earth. And from that place, we move the energy upward, right? Feel the strength through your belly up to the top of the chest. Take the arms out to the side and get a little unwinding here. Right hand goes up and left hand goes in the opposite direction. You can bend your elbows. Right? We start in a little cactus position. It's kind of a reverse cactus as we open up the joints here, working, stretching, breathing. Good, float your arms all the way to the ceiling. Lift up, your gaze can lift all the way up to the sky. Exhale, flow forward. Take a nice, gentle forward bend. Knees can be quite soft here, right? Be really kind to your lower back. Inhale, come up halfway. So you're Nice and long in the back body, open in the front body, exhale and release it right back down. So these are some sun breaths. Inhale, rise back up. My favorite, favorite postures to, to get some energy moving. Palms meet at the top and then bring the hands right here to your heart center. So it's a great way to clear things out a bit, right? Inhale, rise up, arms lift. Deep breath, right? Deep, deep, mindful breath. Exhale, flow forward, long spine, open heart all the way down. Inhale, halfway back up. Exhale, right back down. Press down into the ground and rise back up. Arms reaching, reaching all the way up. Bring your hands together. And then that energy, again, we're clearing out. The hands come right over the forehead. Feel the energy flow there over your nose and right here to your mouth, to your heart center. Inhale, rise up. One more time. Big stretch. Exhale, flow forward. Again, great way to just get things flowing. Inhaling, good for circulation. Exhale, back down. Good for the head and neck and rise back up. This time as we come up, keep your arms, shoulders distance apart. Your palms are facing forward. Grab your right wrist and pull yourself way up and over to the left side. Full, full breath. Bend your knees a little bit. You can push out into that left hip. Be kind, be gentle to your body. Inhale, come back up. That's an area, again, as we tend to sit a lot, um, everything gets a little jammed up right there in the pelvis. Come and pull yourself over to the second side. You can bend your knees, open up, deep breathing in and deep breathing out. Good. Come back to the center. Arms just float right down alongside your shoulders. Let's take the hands and interlace the hands back behind your body. If it's uh, available to you, see if you get the whole palm together. So sometimes we just grab the fingers, see so if you can get the whole palm, the heel of your hands to come together. You can bend your elbows a bit and then go ahead and step to a nice wide position. Try to make sure that the toes aren't turned all the way out, but they can be turned in a bit here. Keep your hands as they are, right? Hands, elbows, start to look up, right? the floor. Start to lean back. Your chin can lift. You get quite, quite an opening here in the top of the chest. Now bend your knees. Listen, we're only going to go halfway down. So the crown of the head is reaching forward. Your arms are reaching towards the back of the room. Use your breath here. Take another breath and now lower the head. Bend your elbows a little bit and start to reach your arms all the way to the sky. Trying to keep your hands together as I as I lift my arms up, my hands kind of pull away from one another. So you can keep them there. Shake your head yes and no. Go ahead and come back up halfway. So you're nice and strong. Keep your hands as they are. We're going to turn and twist to the right. So, but try not to take the body over towards the right hip. Keep the body centered, torso center, and then turn and twist. Arms as they are. Breathing in and out. Exhale, go back to the center. Drop down again into a forward bend. Lift your arms up a little higher. Bend your elbows. You might even come towards a squat. 
squat here. Bend your knees and stick your hips back. Go ahead and straighten your legs. Come up halfway. Arms stay as they are, and then turn and twist to the left side. Again, try not to take the torso to the left hip, but extend that torso straight and forward and open. Exhale back to the center, drop down into the forward bend. Now release your arms, let your arms just flow down towards the ground, let go, let go. This is an opportunity if you are touching the ground, you can always put something underneath you if the ground needs to come near you. You can give yourself a little bit of a stretch into your wrists. You can swirl and twirl into the legs. You can turn your hands so that your fingers are facing back and stretch into the wrists. Do a lot of work with our hands, deep breathing. Nice, take your time, walk your right hand up onto your right thigh and your left hand, and then slowly come up. And you're just gonna come up about halfway. Now you can turn your toes out a bit. And let's do some cat and cow. Right in this position, working the spine, sinking down. Again, you can get really creative in your own body. What feels right, right? What feels right? Let the breath guide you. Clearing our way. How well do we see the world, right? Through the lens of this moment, right? Use your breath. And then slowly, gently rise back up. Shrug your shoulders. And let's keep this wide-legged stance just for a moment more. Float the arms out in front of you. Right, they're right in line with your shoulders and then take your arms up into a big giant V. So now here, the body is in this X shape, lean back. Feels so good. Let your head and neck relax. So open ourselves up, right? Open ourselves up. Mm, exhale, roll your shoulders, your arms come down and then you can heel toe your feet together. One of the many things I adore about these physical postures is that it's the whole body, right? We get to the whole of the body. You can go up and down onto your toes for a moment. Try to awaken and invite presence in this moment, right? Shake out your arms, shake out your legs, deep breathing. Good, we're gonna come back down and we're gonna come back down onto the ground if that's a comfortable place for you. Again, if it's not, you could be doing these postures in the chair. So. As I come to the ground, I'm still gonna sit up a little bit, right? So I have a nice blanket here, just sitting up on the edge of the blanket. Just a little cushioning there. Bend your knees and let the heels of the feet drop down into the ground, but the balls of the feet are lifted. Pay attention to the pelvis, kind of moving forward and back to make sure that I'm seated nice and tall, right? Directly on the sits bones of the pelvis, those beautiful bones at the base. Take your arms and reach them up. Use your breath. We're gonna flow forward and see how you can feel the ribs coming towards the thighs. Grab the outer edges of your feet or your ankles or wherever you meet there. Look forward for a moment and then exhale, soften your bodies and head drops to your knees and just enjoy this forward bend open and free. You can start to crawl your heels, your legs forward a bit. That feels comfortable. This should feel good and spacious for your lower back. One of my favorite shapes, Hashimotanasana, the east-west pose, uh, an indication that we're just where we need to be in this moment, right? Breathing in, breathing out. Give yourself all the breath you need here. In and out. And slowly rise right back up. Shrug your shoulders. Good. Extend that left leg. You can give it a little shake, right? Shake, shake, shake. If you're on the uh, city in a chair, you can just bend your knee and drop that foot down. Take the right leg, give it a little swing. Bending at the knee, swing that right leg. And we're gonna cross it over. So if you're in a chair, you can just take ankle to knee here if you are. But here on the ground, we're gonna cross that right foot over and then try to glue it really to the ground, the sole of the foot. This is a good place to stay with the bottom leg extended or if it's available to you, you can bend that bottom leg. 
pay attention to the pelvis. Can you neutralize and even out the pelvis here? Take your arms and reach them up. And we're going to twist, twisting to the right. You can drop your left elbow on top of your knee and then walk the arm down the thigh. And then take your time here as you're twisting, right? Opening up. This posture is a good one for the hips. You feel the stretch into the outer right hip there. And uh, certainly a wonderful way to move into the spine, to open the body, inhaling, exhaling. Go ahead and slowly unwind that twist. Lift your arms to the sky. Roll into your wrists there a bit, and then gently just float your hands alongside your hips, shrug your shoulders. Let's undo that. You had the crossing there. You can extend that right leg out, bringing your left knee in, and then step it over, right? Step it to the outside of that right hip. You're nice and tall. Again, you can stay here with your bottom leg extended, or or you can take that left or that right leg and bend the knee. What happened to the pelvis here? Are you even in your seat? So I'm just taking a moment to find a sense of balance here. Inhale, float the arms up, 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 and then turn and twist this time to the left. The right elbow drops down onto your knee and you can take your time to walk that hand down the thigh and then it's a turn and a twist. And it's an awareness. So be aware of your breath. As it moves through the body, how well do you see this posture? How well can you experience this posture? Right? Maybe you notice the difference from one side to the other. Perhaps this is a more spacious, open place for you. Perhaps not. Go ahead and come back to the center. Root your arms back up. And then a little movement into the wrists. Drop your hands alongside your hips. Shrug shoulders and then... Take the legs out, give them a little shake, shake, shake. Good. And then go ahead and here we go, right? The, the, the practice itself, the, the physical movement um, designed and to support the seat, right? So sit in a seat that is comfortable and steady for you. Again, you can be back up on your chair if you want to add a little extra padding. I'm gonna put my uh, cushion underneath my hips and find your way here, steady and comfortable in an upright position. Hmm. And here we bring it together. So we've utilized our breath to help us to see clearly, right? Just to come into this moment, just as it is. We use some physical postures to awaken the physical body to get energy to flow. And now we come to this moment this mindfulness moment of meditation. And this is a place where we practice, we practice getting still. Right again with the awareness, the openness, the idea of being able to see the world just as it is, to see this moment just as it is. So settle down into it, let your shoulders get relaxed, let the body Ah, get very soft. You have this really strong foundation to be stable and steady in, and the rest of the body gets really soft. And how well can you see this moment? This moment, just with your breath. And that question is not an invitation to judge, but an invitation just to come here. Right, to come here to this moment. This moment of just simply noticing, noticing our breath, noticing our aliveness. Continue to settle, you might start to notice Subtle movements in the body, the internal body, maybe you feel the heart beating. 
and sense the gentle rise and fall, the beautiful rhythm of our breath. And here's the practice now as the body settles, as the breath begins to soften the mind. And check in with the mind. Where are your thoughts? And they might have easily gone forward or maybe they moved back a bit. Something happened this morning, this year. And if that's occurred, just simply bring yourself back to this moment. Bring those thoughts right here to this moment. Maybe you landed now very clearly, very solidly into the moment. And maybe not. Maybe you're very distracted today. Maybe the mind is going here and there, inviting you to see this and to see that. Let's come back here and just see and experience this moment. Practicing, practicing presence, practicing mindfulness. Be intentional now, start to deepen your breath. Let it fill you up, your belly and your ribs, your heart lifting with your breath. Emptying, emptying, emptying. Do this twice more, very awake and aware in your breath. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Empty, empty completely. Once more, full breath. We bring it up the spine, right? Inhaling, inhaling all the way to the back of the neck. Empty, empty, empty it all. Let your chin now soften back to your chest. Deep breathing. Bring your hands together in front of your heart center and take a moment now to be grateful, right? To your body your beautiful breath to yourself for taking this moment take a deep and clear breath in empty it all let it go through your mouth keep pressing your hands together and then lift your arms to the sky get really tall so here's a great place to see right this open heart this strong core as you exhale bring your hands right here to your forehead and here you can see Take a deep and clear breath in as you exhale here. Your hands resting right in front of your lips and here you can speak. And take a deep breath in as you exhale, your hands hovering in front of heart center. And here there's a knowing. How well do you see the world? Take another breath in and empty. Namaste to you all. Thank you so much for the privilege and honor of guiding you through this mindfulness moment practice. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please let me know. I wish you an amazing rest of your day or evening, wherever it is that you're practicing with us. And 
take good care. Um, invite a, a mindfulness moment break into your day, right? every day perhaps. So thank you so much.